Welcome to Electron Online. Here's an example of a position vector that shows you where on a circle you are or where the particle is or wherever the point is that you're interested in. And you can see that the parametric variable in this case doesn't have to be time, it can simply be an angle. So here we have x being a function of t and the function is going to be the cosine of t and y is going to be another function of t, in this case the sine of t. And of course t is limited between 0 and 2 pi, so you only need to go around the circle once. The position vector is simply a vector that points to some point on the circle. And you can see that the x component of that would simply be the cosine of t in the i direction, and the y component of that will simply be the sine of t in the j direction, t being the angle between the horizontal x-axis and your position vector. So then if you want to write out your position vector, r as a function of t is equal to the function of t in the i direction that represents the x component and the function of t in the j direction that represents the y component. And since the x component is the cosine of t and the y component is the sine of t, the position vector can be written as r as a function of t is equal to the cosine of t in the i direction plus the sine of t in the j direction. And of course, when you look at it, Here's the cosine of t in the i direction, the sine of t in the j direction, and if you add those two vectors together, you get your position vector. So the position vector is simply the sum of its two components, and the components are expressed in terms of the parametric variable, in this case t being the angle between the x-axis and the position vector. So you can see there's a very nice example of how a position vector can simply show you where on the circle you are in terms of those parametric equations, and that's how it's done.